Hi guys, big up to the yachties. Hi love bugs. Um, I'm going to do a quick and short review and the have and the have not. Um, hi guys, please subscribe to my channel and press the like. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it so much. Okay, so this is the review and the, as I said, the have and the have not. Sorry guys, I'm trying to look at which episode we are. Okay, season 5, episode 3. So it's the have and the have not, season 5, season 5. Episode 3. So it basically started off Benny scrolling back in the hospital with that evil witch of the West, Veronica. <laughs> and Benny mother said, oh, no, I don't, no, I don't think so. Stop it now. You, how, Why are you hanging out with the spawn of the devil? Okay? In that so many terms. Term, and Benny was, was trying to explain to his mom, Ma, I saw her. She was in a car accident. I just came with her. There's nothing going on with me and her. Okay, Benny, we believe you. So next we went to um our girl Candace. And in the end, Candace was talking to a John, some guy she was trying to pick up, you know, to work at Connor and take him up to the room and then blackmail for money. But she was talking to this guy, and I was like, okay, she was trying to pick him up. Let's get, but when we get, but when, to the, when we get to the end, we're gonna realize do 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 who the guy is. Shocking! I was like, oh my god. Anyway, so she was talking to this guy as usual, trying to pick up a guy, trying to ask her how much money is to pick her up. Then we go to Sweet Jeffrey. Sweet Jeffrey is in prison. And the guy who is married, who I said, guy, you are, this is my problem. I don't care if you're gay or straight or not. You're a married ass man. You shouldn't be messing with him. And Jeffrey, stop lying to the guy about you love. You know you don't love him, but you just need him to help you get your father to come there. So basically, Jeffrey, you know, Jeffrey got out there. For, no, the prosecutor got Jeffrey out first and was interviewing Jeffrey. And like, you know, your mother basically tell us all this stuff. So did you really do all this stuff or your mother is being convicted? You know, she's trying to set you up because she's mad because you try to testify and send her to jail. Then, you know, the man, the married man, the thought, I'm going to call him a thought, okay? The married man come in there and tell Jeffrey, like, you know, I can help you. So, basically, he want Jeffrey to tell him what he wanted. So, Jeffrey basically told him he loved him. Jeffrey don't love him. So, anyway, this married guy went to Jeffrey's dad and told Jeffrey's dad because Jeffrey's dad was at home with his, oh, God. If you want to call a girlfriend, he has, a side note. Poor Jeffrey's dad. He has no idea this chick that he's with was, you know, basically she was there to con him. And she, had, he, I don't understand how she's still in the picture. I don't understand why Candace don't blow her out already and blow her whole ball game up. I don't know why Candace must have a plan for her. But anyway, he has no idea that this girl was ultimately first there to use him. And her boyfriend was the guy that sent her there to do that. Anyway, I'm sure he's going to find her eventually. So the cop guy that... That Jeffrey see knock on the door and basically tell him Jeffrey's in county, you gotta get help him, he's been arrested. So he said, Okay, thank you, and he locked the door, went to help Jeffrey. Um, back at the hospital, um, the mother, um, Candace mom, I keep on forgetting her name. Anyway, Candace mom was kind of pissed because she's like, Why, you know, why ask Benny? Why is she calling? Why is she asking for you? And Benny was like, I don't know, you know, I took her to the hospital, that's probably the only reason why she's calling and asking me. Well, that's fine and dandy. Next we go to Captain. Oh my God, I'm I'm feeling Captain and the plumber. I'm feeling my I'm feeling Captain and the plumber. I don't know why. So Captain was talking to the plumber basically and said, I mean, you know, um, what's her name? Um, Candace, mom, do you not find her attractive? Whatever, you know, do you have anything in common? You know, basically she trying to set them up, set them up. So she's telling the guy, you know, that she's a wonderful person, blah blah blah. And if you don't find her attractive, so basically the guy told her that, you know, um, that. The evil witch of the West, Veronica, is in the hospital. Catherine, why do you care? Veronica's evil bitch. She basically got your son butt raped in prison. Oh, God! She did a lot of mean and evil stuff to you. I mean, Catherine, do you care that she's in jail? Or you probably want to do something to her in the first place. I I don't know, but personally, I wouldn't care. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Then we get back to the gorgeous guy who's running for president. Yes, he is gorgeous. Candace, get with him, Candace. Get with him now. So we go back to, to with him, and he's in his uh, hotel room, and he's talking to his assistant, which his assistant is attracted to him. I don't understand how he doesn't see it, okay? So his assistant is saying, listen to him. I, and I don't understand why this was in this episode tonight, because we could, I love the guy because I think he's really cute, but we could have done with all, all of that because it was not necessary. So let's move forward because I'm not wasting my time with that part because that does so. Three minutes of my life, I can't get back. Okay. So then we go back to um, Candace in the room with her mom. And Candace is... No, before we get to that, sorry. Melissa, crazy Melissa, the doctor tried to examine her to make sure the baby's okay. She's like, I don't give a damn if the baby's okay. Okay, she's just don't give a shit. You know, so 
we don't know if the baby's dead or alive still in her stomach because the girl refused to take an examination. She refused to, and to me, that's the sad because whether you hate the mother or not, and basically because she forced Jeffrey on you because she's trying to pretend Jeffrey's not gay, still, you're pregnant with a baby. That's your child. Care a little bit, but I guess, I guess she's just crazy to fat Melissa. So then Melissa went to see Veronica in her hospital bed, and she basically said, Veronica, yeah, I don't give a shit, Veronica. I'm a crazy bitch. I don't care. And Veronica tell us, listen, I'm going to stop paying for all your mother's bill. I'm going to kick her out. She's going to be in the streets. And Melissa said, I don't give two shit if you get my mother out of the street. Oh, God. Veronica, you are evil bitch. Oh, my God. You need therapy. You need Jesus. Girl, bye. And so we get to the um, basically the end of it when Candace was in a hotel room with her mother and her brother, Benny. And this guy walking was a John. Remember I told you the guy before earlier in the episode that she was picking up and she told him to come to the hotel room later. So then... Um, Benny and her mom was talking to her. Her mom was like, I know you're hurt for what happened to your son. You know, she's like, I'm not hurt. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm perfectly fine. And as usual, she's putting on her front. She starts crying and she's putting on her front like it's no big deal. And she's blaming her mother for everything. Candace, it's time for you to grow up, girl. You cannot blame your mother for your entire life. You got to take responsibility. Partly, it's your fault why your son is dead. And you can't blame anybody else but yourself. He is your son. It was not your mama's son. It was not your brother's kid. It was your kid. And everybody raised him except you. So, girl, bye. Okay? I love you, Candace. You know you're my girl. But have several seats with that. Anyway, let's get to the end of it. So, the guy, the John walk in while her brother and her mother was there. And she was like, get out. Get out. And they were like, and, and Benny was like, I'm not going anywhere. And her mother said, uh, no. And her mother said, that's your father. And I was like, oh, what? I was like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? He's your dad. She almost slept with her father. What the hell is going on here? And that's how it ends. The have and the have not. And I'm telling you, next week, we got to find out why in the world her mother didn't tell her all the time who her father was. That she knew who he was and knew where he And obviously, the father, look, he's broke. He has some kind of money. Why in the mother didn't tell her? Why did I want to wait till now? What is going on? Did the guy try to pick her up was her father and he knew that was his daughter and he was trying to help her? Well, we don't know. We got to stay tuned next week, guys, to see the have and the have not. It was really that good tonight. It was okay. It was kind of slow, but it was still okay. It was decent because I told you, when it, Candace and Veronica, any of those evil, Candace, I love Veronica's an evil witch. I could watch it all night long. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a good night. Bye.